Okay, so that so the, the the first way I showed you to how to unwrap is to uh, select the seams or mark the seams, and then uh, and then unwrap. But the other way to unwrap that I'll I'll show you is actually a lot more direct. Um, deselect. I'm gonna I'm gonna just choose. Let's see. I'm just going to choose a certain number of faces. All right. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to bring in a new image, and this is going to be the shipping label. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the faces that I want the shipping label to appear on, and I'm actually going to assign those faces to a different image. Um, and it, they're already showing up here, but that's because we've already unwrapped the box. Um, if um, if you're just kind of going cold turkey, all you have to do is select faces. If I now uh, click unwrap, it will then go ahead and just pull those faces over. And so I don't have to worry about any seams because I'm just pulling them from the same plane. Um, I'm going to resize these. All right, I'm pretty good. Okay. Now we're going to switch back to the default layout. All right. And I'll hit zero to look through. Now we're going to do a test render. And look at that. None of our none of the hard work we just put into it is is paying off because we can't see it. And the reason why is because well, all we've done is we've defined the UV maps for the box, and if we want to see those, we can actually come down here and, and put texture on there. But we haven't actually, just because we've mapped these, we haven't actually told Blender to apply those particular images to those parts in the material. And so now what we've got to do is go back into our material. And just to keep things simple, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of our old... Um, uh, excuse me of our of our old material. I'm gonna create a new material, and then I'm gonna get rid of this one. Well, okay, can't do it yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and create a new material anyway. And I'm gonna call this wrapping number two. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, again with the specularity, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it very weak, and put this down to like, I don't know, eight, something, the hardness. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select, I'm gonna hit A to select all of the faces in the box. And now what I'm gonna do is assign them. Right now they're all connected to this material. That's the actual material that was already assigned to this. Uh, um, to these faces, even though we just UV mapped them, this is the actual material that was that was actually assigned to them at the time. So now I'm going to reassign them to our new material. All right, and then I'm going to get rid of our of this other material so that it's so that we're starting fresh. I can show you how to do this fresh. Okay, wrapping number two. We're going to go into the textures tab, and once again. We're going to create a new texture. Title it Wrapping Number Two. It's going to be an image or movie. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. This time I'm going to use uh, the uh, the one that has all of our little doodads on it. Okay. Oh, actually, look at that. It's giving us UV coordinates. We have to tell it which which one we want it to use. This one. Let me see what happens when I do this again. Well, I guess it's I guess it's giving it to us. Um, normally, you need to you need to change this so that it's mapping it. Now we're telling it we don't want you to just do a generic mapping on there, which is what we had before when we had it on generated, and uh, and we and then we put it on cube. At twelve, we're saying that we told it just take that image and just kind of wrap it around, um, and uh, 
and it looked goofy. That, at least there's cube. If we do it flat, it does the stretching thing. So we're telling it now the way we want you to map it is based on our UV map that we created. And if we want to see what it looks like, we can now change our view from texture to material. And now it's actually showing us uh, what's in the material. Um, and we can see that we're mapped pretty well. But this area over here, that's where our shipping label wa uh, was, was going to go. And the reason why we're not seeing it is because, if you recall, we used a different image for that for that part of the for that part of the the uh, texture and we only applied it to some of the faces just these few faces here and so let's assign let's go back to our materials tab we're going to create a new material call this shipping label and I don't care it could be a little glossy a shipping label that's fine but I'm gonna tab into edit mode and I'm going to reselect those same faces that we had assigned before and I'm going to now assign them to the new material, shipping label material. Alright. I'm going to go back into the textures tab and now we're going to assign a texture to this new material. Image or movie. Find our shipping label, and voila! Now we've got that where we want it. All right, so let's go ahead and render and hit F12. Let's take a look. It's not bad. All right, this is looking pretty good. That looks like a package. Um, the only thing that's that's missing now is that I remember if you look at the original at a real package you see that these these uh, side folds well they actually look three-dimensional um, there's some shadow kind of coming out uh, from the sides and uh, and also if you look at the paper you can see that it's crumpled kind of kind of crumply and fun and ours just looks a little too perfect and so if you look back at the original project, you can see that we had added some shadows under these, some three-dimensional effects uh, to the side folds, and then we had also added some three-dimensional effects to make it look like the paper was crumpled. Now the way that we do that is through bump mapping. And so let's talk about uh, in enhancing your textures through bump mapping. So in trying to figure out what to do for bump mapping, we kind of run into the same question we have at the beginning. Is there a way that we can just do sort of a quick and dirty uh, application of a, of a bump map image to get what we want? Well, in this case, we can't. The, the side fold effect only applies to two of the sides of the box. And so throwing some generic texture on there that, you know, that, that Blender just sort of wraps around the box isn't going to work for us. We're going to have to do just a little more work. So we're going to go back to the data tab, object data tab, F11, get out of that. We're going to create a new UV map. And this one, I'm going to call side folds. Okay, we're going to go back into our UV editing layout. Gonna tab into edit mode. We're going to check down here to make sure that we're on the right. Um, we're on the right UV map, side folds. And I'm going to select this side. Okay, good. All right. This time I'm going to bring in a new image, and this is going to be our bump map image. And I already created this in Photoshop beforehand. So it's all nice and ready here for us. All right. It looks like we've got these ones selected as well. So let's get those off of there. 
All right. So let's check and see if we are orientated correctly. Looks like we are. SX. Okay. I'm just trying to get this to line up. All right. Perfect. All right, looking good. Let's come on over here to this side. Tab into edit mode. Hit A to deselect everything else. C. Select all the side there. And once again, we're going to open up our image, our bump map. And center, size, size X. I need to just telling you what I'm doing here. I guess you can probably pick up on it. I'm just trying to decide what to position it. So I'd like to hear my own voice. I mean, it's comforting because it's so scary with all of you listening to me. All right. All right, we got those on there. Okay, now for the rest of these, we don't actually want this texture applied this bump map texture applied to the rest of these sides. So, uh, to make it easier, well, what we'll do is this. Okay, we're going to select each side separately because what we've got to do now is so we've actually got to got to get rid. We don't want um, in this particular UV map side folds. We actually only really are interested in the two sides of the box. These other ones, we don't want them to have any bump mapping changes to them. We don't want them to have any um, three-dimensional effects on them for this. And so, we're gonna what we're gonna do is is neutralize them. And so, I'm gonna open up. I guess I could just grab it over here. Hang on. It's in here now. All right, so I'm gonna open this thing up. What? Wait a minute. Ah, okay. It's given us two different ones because it's still separating out the, uh, the packing label, uh, shipping label part. And so what I'm going to do just to simplify things is I'm just going to unwrap that again with them all selected, and then it's going to it's going to create just one uh, block of faces there. Okay, good. And then I'm going to resize this. The truth is, it doesn't really matter what shape it is. I just want it all to be one color because when I tell uh, Blender to treat this layer that we're creating as a bump map, I just want it to see the same shade and not do anything to it because the way bump maps work is uh, Blender, look any 3D program actually, will just look at the different shades of gray, uh, all, everything from black to white and anything that's darker, it's going to actually make it appear to be um, lower and anything that's lighter it's going to make it appear to be higher so it's actually going to create sort of a three-dimensional trick uh, that looks like th it was modeled that way when in reality it's just reading a bump map and so we want that three-dimensional effect for the sides of the box we do not want the three-dimensional effect for the rest of the sides so what I'm going to do with all these other sides now is just select them and neutralize them the same way. Okay. And then I get back to this, size it down. Truth is I could make these very small. Um, all, all the gray on the sides of this image is, is the same for every pixel. So it really doesn't matter how big this is. We're just basically assigning it a gray color.
Okay, so now all of the sides of our box, I believe, are gray except for the two sides. According to the side folds UV map. We still have the other UV map. The first one, main texture, and that one has all of the package looking material on it. But this one, we're going to go back to our default layout. All right. Tab on edit mode. And now what I've got to do is we're still going to be using the same material, which is wrapping number two. But in the textures tab, we're now just simply going to add a new texture to this. All right. We'll call this side folds bump. All right. Tell it we want our bump map image. Use this one for the layer, and then it's gonna. And then we need to tell it how we want it to apply it. Looks like it's uh, correctly choosing UV, but we're gonna tell it we want it to use the side folds. Okay. Now the other thing that we want to do is because this this particular layer is lower on this list than wrapping number two, it's actually going to overpower this one in any way that. Uh, unless we tell it to not overpower this other layer. And so right now we're getting th just basically this entire gray layer is just covering everything. Well, we don't want that. So what we're going to tell it to do is, uh, is down here, we're going to say don't uh, transfer the color property or don't use the color property. We're not interested in the color. All we want is the effect of the geometry effect called normal. This is what allows us to apply the bump mapping. Okay? And you can kind of see we're looking at the, in, in materials mode. And so we can see that it already started applying that effect on there. All right? If we look at it perfectly from the side like this, the geometry just isn't there. Remember, it's just a trick. It just tricks our eyes. Okay? So we can see it there. Um, and not only that, down here is where we have our, our, our uh, bump map controls. I like to have it be the best quality for this. Um, and then let's try doing it according to object space and texture space. Texture space isn't giving us quite as much of an effect, so let's do it um, according to object space. All right. Great. Both sides are giving us what we want. Um, now, because we're applying this, this this effect, I'm going to go ahead and hit hit render, F12, and you can start to see that now we've got these folds in there, but they're kind of muddied up by the by the sort of fake folds that we had drawn in there before, and so I'm going to go back into UV editing. I'm going to select, or I'm going to hit uh, tab to go into edit mode. Uh, I'm going to go back into the main texture UV map. And I'm now going to change my two sides. And basically, I just want them to show straight paper. That's it. I don't want them to be lined up on this, uh, lined up with this sort of fake wrapping here. Okay. If I wanted to, I could, you know, kind of shake up the sort of the, the patterns that are showing on the paper so they don't look the same, but no biggie. All right, so when we're looking at it here, we're just looking at the texture view. If we change this over to material, we're going to start to see that effect. And it's going to look a lot more realistic, um, unless we're looking at it straight from the side like that or from a really just straight side angle, almost a perpendicular angle, then we won't see the trick. But we will see it if, we, if, it, if our camera angle is anywhere on the side like that. Okay? Let's go back into our default view.